Um, today we are back working with those uh, pesky subtracting mixed numbers uh, problems. Um, once again, it's a it, this is a lesson that's a little bit of a toughie. So therefore, uh, we are spending two days on it. So today is our second day. Um, today we really broke down how to subtract those, and we looked at the different steps. Once again, these required three steps, um, which are a little bit trickier for our children to grasp. All right, uh, so today we actually use the color system. Um, we have our regular black one or our pencil if they want. Uh, that's going to be to write down the original problem, as you can see here. Our red pencil, uh, red marker or color pencil, or whatever they use, um, is going to be to change or rename the fractions, which you'll see in a second. Then your blue one is going to be the regrouping one. All right. So first of all, we already wrote down our problem. We have five and one fourth minus two and five six. Off to the side, we're going to find our LCM. Uh, so we look over here. We write down our uh, multiples of six and four. So you go four and six. You get eight and twelve. And then you see that they had twelve in common. So you circle those two. So now we're going to use our red to bring down our new denominators. So we're going to keep our whole number, in this case 5, and then we're going to put 12 as our denominator. Then we're going to come over to the second side, 2 is our whole number, so 2 and something over 12. From there, we need to go back up to the top and find out what our multiplier is. How did we get from 4 to 12? Well, we know 4 times 12, uh, 4 times 3 equals 12. So therefore, using our red still, we're going to multiply both numbers times 3. So 1 times 3 equals 3. And we already have 4 times 3 equals 12. We're going to come to the second side and do the same thing. How did we go from 6 to 12? Well, we know 6 times 2 gives us 12. So our multiplier is 2. All right, 5 times 2 gives us 10. This is step 2. So now the next part that we have to do is we have to look at our fractions of the mixed numbers. So I asked the children to circle which fraction is bigger. So with our blue marker or pen or color pencil, we're looking at just the fractions. So I have three fifths, I'm uh, sorry, three twelfths and ten twelfths. We know that ten twelfths is bigger than three twelfths. So if our second fraction is bigger, that means we have to regroup. If our first fraction were circled, we can just subtract from here. So now we have to regroup. So we're going to borrow a whole. So we're going to cross out our 5. This now becomes a 4. And we have to bring over a whole. So we look at our denominator. What equals one whole with a denominator of 12? 12 twelfths is the same thing as one whole. So we're going to add 12 twelfths. So our new denominator now, 13 twelfths plus 12 twelfths, gives us 15 twelfths. We want it to be improper, um, so we can make it so it can be a larger one. It's just the same thing as if we have a regular subtraction problem and you borrow from the tens place. It's the exact same thing. Okay. So now we're going to rewrite our problem again in blue, with the few changes that we already did. So now we have 15 twelfths and 10 twelfths. We know 15 minus 10 equals 5. So we're going to put 5 twelfths here. And then we have 4 minus 2, which equals 2. So our answer is 2 and 5 twelfths. I hope that this video helps out a little bit more. Um, there's one other part that I really want to focus on. And this is what we covered today in class also is let's say if we have a problem like this. Five minus one and one fourth. 
as you can see here, there is no fraction beside our whole number five. So there's two things that they can do. They can actually write in the fraction like this, zero or four, because there's no force. So we're just going to use our second denominator, and we're going to write zero over whatever that denominator is. If it was 17, it would be zero over 17. And then from there, everything that we did up top. The other way we could have did it is if we actually just borrow a whole already. Because essentially you're going to do the same thing anyway. So we're going to make this 4, and then we're going to bring 4 fourths down. And then from there, it's just a subtraction problem. So once again, I hope these videos are helping out. Send me an email if, it, um, if you're having any trouble, and I'll try to get to you as fast as I can.